There is a new breed of wrestling in era which will never be defeated. Wrestling fans, this is Sal Sanchez coming to you once again live from our satellite studio in Mule Shoe, Texas. I'm here with another exciting hour of New Breed Rewind. I went through the New Breed archives and I was able to find some matches from May 2021. Now, back then, I was sent packing momentarily because volatile Curtis Wilde was in charge of the company. He had won majority control against Scotty Z. In this hour, we're going to see two big matchups. First one being for the PopCon Championship. We'll see Slammer, the defending champion, going up against the Angry Dad. And then our big main event, our commissioner, acting CEO, and new breed champion, Curtis Wilde, along with Wildfire, We'll be facing Drexel Bowie. We've got that and so much more. So don't go anywhere. Sit back and relax and grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling. Let's go down to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to New Breed Wrestling here in Sedalia, Missouri. We are in Convention Hall. I'm Bob Lucha. With me is my commentary partner, as always, Brian Wade. Bob, it's a new era in New Breed Wrestling, fresh off his championship victory in Fulton. We've got a new champion. We've got a new boss. Uh, Curtis Wilde has seized control of New Breed Wrestling from owner Scotty Z. It'll be really interesting to see how the Wild era of New Breed Wrestling gets started tonight. Well, it's, he's already had an impact because immediately after gaining control of New Breed Wrestling, he fired the Math Magician, the previous champion. So anything can happen with volatile Curtis Wilde along with Wildfire entering the ring. Uh, we'll have to see what he has in store for these fans here in Sedalia. I was going to say uh, that there's something on a, some sort of podium in the middle of the ring. Uh, Wendy, the ring announcer there, even seemed kind of surprised to see it. I don't think she's, I mean, we know she's had her history with uh, Mr. Wild. Absolutely. What you say? Oh, he's in the wrong town, man. And the reason I interrupted the lovely Whitney is because I am the new man in charge of New Breed Wrestling. Everybody here needs to make some noise. Now I'm bad too. Dripping with humility. <laughs> Curtis Wilde ready to unveil some new hardware for New Breed. Already spending that New Breed money. That's a nice looking belt. Universal. Universal. 
Oh, Bob, I guess it is within his power of owner to award championships as he sees fit. It seems like the locker room is a little hesitant to come out. The locker room needs to get me out. I'm paid. Oh, here comes the Iceman. Here comes Dr. Ison. Heartthrob Jaden. Derek Stone. Connoisseur Niles Plonk. Nothing neater, Derek Teeter. Frank Dunbar. Iceman making his presence known at ringside. He's got some hardware of his own. Absolutely. He's dripping in gold. Got the New Breed U.S. title. And national title. I'm looking around for Kenny Omega and I don't see him here. I believe he had a prior engagement this evening. Surprising uh, support there for the good doctor. The good Dennis is hard to find. Those who uh, missed it, Frank Dunbar hurled a water bottle at Curtis Wilde. A lot of support for the big man here in Sedalia. In a surprise to virtually no one, Curtis Wilde decided to award the belt to himself. Uh, I, it's safe to say he awarded it to his favorite wrestler. So Curtis Wilde brandishing the new breed version of shoulder pads, uh, a belt on each shoulder, uh, he and uh, Iceman both uh, able to pull that feet off. But the crowd is none too pleased, uh, as usual, with volatile Curtis Wilde making his statement here early on tonight's New Breed Wrestling Show here in Sedalia, Missouri. Here at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Elton, Missouri, we have several free services like checking the scan tool to check your check engine light or battery alternator testing. We also check fluids, change bulbs, and batteries unless professional installation is required. Come and see one of our professional parts people today or call 573-392-3341. So, as a result of winning his match against Michael Varga earlier this evening, angry Frank Dunbar gets a 
title shot against Slammer for that Midwest Popcorn Championship. I'd not be appreciating that stipulation too much. He still looks pretty dang different than actually. Yep. I assume that's what it is because I think he's going to be coaching the guy there. Moving kind of slow at the junction. Still got that cocky look on his face. Absolutely. Way into the ring, angle Frank Dunbar ready to take on the slammer. I just took a chair to I'm still here. I'm the other part. part still doesn't have much to do with much use for I'm fans still here. in the ring. I am tougher okay, yeah. than everyone here. away from Venice Beach. Dunbar's already complaining that he's hurt from his previous match tonight. Oh, but there's a face wash. Big old slap. Slammer taking it in stride at this point. Collar and elbow tie up. This isn't really the type of place where cooler heads are going to be. No. Dunbar shakes him off. Slammer sizing up his opponent. Elements on our crowd chanting Go Slammer. Yeah, kids love this guy. Go 
Dunbar looking for that test of strength. Well, this would be a hard one to pick. Locked in. Slammer getting the better of this exchange. Drops Dunbar down to his knees. Hands down oh. and a stomp. Bar checking out those digits, making sure that none of them are broken. Stomp from the slammer. A stomp on the foot. Slammer, more like a stomper. I apologize. For that. Big slap from the angry Greg Dunbar. Oh, just, just laying him in. Just seems to fire up the slammer. Belly rubs for everybody. Big elbow shot to the face. Drops the slammer to the canvas. Having none of it. And a big knee. Oh, he might be out. That was a pretty brutal blow. Big knee to the ribs. And a stomp. Clubbing blows to the slammer. Dunbar trying to rip the shirt off of the slammer. Yeah, that sounds right. Shirt ripping off. You get to the bottom. Dunbar moving in for a gut wrench. Oh! He gut wrenched him up to shoulder level and then just dropped Slammer right onto the base of his neck. Slammer powered out of that though. Slammer's looking for some intestinal fortitude. He's looking. Back rake. Oh. He's got the attention of the slammer now. Big Mock. right hand. Another right hand. Another right hand. The slammer again playing to the crowd. Big boot. Don't do that too much. Go for the pin when you can. Big leg drop. One, two, three. The slammer making short work out of angry Frank Dunbar. Not to be, it's not a surprising result of the fact that uh, Dunbar had gone through such a brutal, brutal matchup earlier in the evening with Frank Varga. But nonetheless, still your Midwest Popcorn champion, Slammer. He's racking up a pretty impressive string of wins in his time here in New Breed Wrestling thus far. Absolutely. You could argue that he should have had the championship uh, in his matchup in Eldon with Kurt Gannon. He, he definitely was um, in control of the match when uh, Money Mike Pettis interjected himself into that one. But Slammer was able to come back and beat uh, Kurt Gannon for that belt at the show in Fulton. Dunbar showing a little bit of respect to Slammer there at the end. Make his way around the crowd. Oh. Slammer giving high fives. Fist bumps to all the little slammers in the audience. I bet if he were standing next to a mountain, he could chop it down with the edge of his hand. Eldon Tire and Brake gives you a full service auto repair shop. Located at 210 East 4th Street in Elna, Missouri. We specialize in mechanical repair, new and used tires, and complimentary state vehicle inspections.
Let our auto repair professionals show you that you can trust Eldon Tire and Brakes. Make your appointment today. So Drexel Bowie will be Curtis Wilde's first uh, championship opponent. This will be the first time Curtis Wilde is defending his new breed championship. And as we saw earlier this evening, his new intergalactic, universal, subterranean, planetary, planetary uh, funkadelic, albatross championship. We have a lot of fun out here, folks. Drexel Bowie, Kirksville, Missouri. Drexel Bowie making his way around the ring. He seems fired up and ready for this challenge. Here in Sedalia, Missouri, Convention Hall. You gotta wonder if this match was on the schedule for Curtis Wilde before he took control of New Breed. Or did he make this match himself? Maybe he considers his size advantage? I would guess that this is the doing of Curtis Wilde after he got control of New Breed Wrestling. He saw Drexel Bowie as a smaller opponent, thought he was somebody that he could take advantage of. And I think he's gonna gamble. He's gambling wrong on this one because Drexel Bowie is uh, talented, energetic, athletic, uh, talented, combatant who's going to give him all he's, he could ask for. Absolutely. Should be in for one heck of a match though, for our main event tonight. And volatile, controlling interest Curtis Wilde is making his way to the ring. He'll be accompanied by Wildfire, of course, as always. You can tell this crowd has seen enough of Curtis Wilde tonight. He's been a fixture throughout the evening, but we kind of expected that was going to be the case when he defeated the Math Magician for the Newbury Championship last month in Fulton and won 51% controlling interest in New Breed Wrestling and has been out here calling his shots, making things happen since the start of the evening. I mean, really, it's his show. He can be out here as much as he wants to. Much to the chagrin of Scotty Z. And the fans here in the Tendons and Slade tonight. Curtis Wilde brandishing both of those championship belts. It's a lot of gold to be toting around. Just a weird thing to be proud of, you know? Hey, I gave myself a bet. Yep. <laughs> There's usually somebody here in the front row. Gave yourself a bet. He should have to defend it. Agree 100%. So volatile Curtis Wilde finally making his way into the ring. I think your assumption earlier was right. I think he uh, doesn't see Drexel Bowie as much of a challenge. He's acting even a little bit more arrogant than usual. If that's even possible. I've heard that somewhere before. The champ is here. Curtis Wilde is here. Um, I didn't see and ready to defend. It's giving him very detailed instructions on how to handle those belts. Drexel Bowie just chilling in the corner. Yep. Wildfire helping. Referee Rex show off those 
championship belts. As Curtis Wilde again lobs some venom toward the fans. You know, it just dawned on me. Right after Curtis Wilde took control of the new breed wrestling, there seems to be an all new crew of referees. That's a really good point. Where's Jeff? I don't know, might be something to keep an eye on. I could be totally off base. Lots of places are higher. <laughs> it appears uh, Wilds going to wrestle this match in t-shirt and athletic shorts, which, again, leads one to believe he's not taking this as seriously as he probably should. True, and, and you know, it is his prerogative as a champion, but... He might be making a mistake, especially since the crowd's getting a look at Drexel Bowie right now. And as I noted earlier, this is a young, athletic, energetic, talented competitor, ready to take on Curtis Wilde, ready to give him all that he could want and more. Getting the crowd behind him early. Not hard to do against someone as uh, well volatile as Curtis Wilde. Though. Now, a, a trivia point that you brought up the last time we were handling the commentary duties for Newbury. Curtis Wilde has political aspirations. Politically, he has uh, run for mayor, hasn't he? Thank you. I'd have to look it up. Neither mayor or House of Representatives. Oh, okay. I, I may be confused there. Yeah, very active politically outside of the room. Um, and, you know, a lot of a lot of that goes over as well as this does in this area. So. That's a very good example of what I was talking about. Curtis Wilde just taunting the fans, just daring them to boo him, to jeer him. Took him down quick. Went for the collar and elbow, but Wilde was too quick. Grabbed that arm and gained control of Drexel Bowie. This lock got a go behind with that hammer lock. Oh, but a reversal. Drexel Bowie with a quick reversal on that hammer lock. Much to the delight of the fans here in Sedalia. Quickly slips it into a headlock. What a back and forth early. Drop down takeover, but then Bowie turns it into a head scissors. Surprising that Bowie would go with this kind of an offense. You would think that he would want to take advantage of his high flying abilities. Um, Curtis Wilde is much more of a mat wrestler. He's more of a brawler. And you would think that uh, Drexel Bowie would want to take advantage of his aerial abilities. Yeah, I was I was surprised to see him get, take it to the mat. Uh, like you said, especially against someone as talented in that arena as Curtis Wilde. Oh, up, oh, down, schoolboy, kick out. And Wild has not a whole lot of use oh. for pulling to the outside. Curtis Wilds taking cover on the outside. Drexel Bowie waiting for him on the inside. Curtis Wilde consulting with Wildfire on what to do next. Russell Bowie pacing a bit in the ring. He's ready for action. He's using every bit of that 10 count to avoid getting back in there.
Curtis Wild again taking cover outside the ring. Using that count to his advantage. Slowing things down. I mean, he knows that uh, titles can't change hands on a count out. He could use that to his advantage. And, and see, there's a mistake by Bowie. The count's winding down, and then he goes and approaches Wild. You gotta let that count ride out and make him get back in the ring. Absolutely. Oh, a big spine buster from Curtis Wilde. But a kick out by Drexel Bowie. But quickly, tables have turned. And Curtis Wilde with a stomp to the face, clearly in control at this point in this match. He's lining him up. Oh, big kick. Wild using that middle rope. Choked the life out of Drexel Bowie. Bowie made Again. a bit off more than he could chew here. Draped him over the rope again. Shot to the abdomen by Drexel Bowie. Trying to fight back out of that corner. But a big knee from Curtis Wilde and a stomp to the face. Every time Drexel Bowie takes two steps forward, he gets one back. Curtis Wilde's using every bit of that size advantage he's got. Big boot to the throat under the ropes. Referee Rex finally saying to get off the ropes. Curtis Wilde. Oh! Catapult. Drexel Bowie, throat first into that bottom rope. That's a devastating maneuver. That's going to really, really uh, make it difficult for Drexel Bowie to catch his wind. Serious, serious damage with that one. Now he's just kind of stalking him. Another kick. Curtis Wilde has used the stomps, knee strikes, kicks, much to his advantage throughout this match. And Bowie's a striker himself, but, you know, again, the weight advantage and the size advantage, the amount of force that's behind those strikes. Well, and some of the moves that uh, Wilde has been able to use, like that catapult un under the bottom rope, They've just been more effective. They've had they've leveled more damage from what he's been able to muster against them. Definitely. Irish whip into the corner. Wild comes in, but he's met with an elbow. Kind of a European uppercut type oh. strike. Tornado DDT. There's that speed and high flying. Bowie. Cover, two and, oh, a kick out. You know, you have to wonder how much of a defense Wild has against those types of maneuvers. Uh, he hasn't seen a lot of that in his previous match. Bowie's firing up, what's he got? Up, oh. rock bottom from Curtis Wild. And uh, there you have it. Out of nowhere, Curtis Wilde hits that rock bottom and gets the three count. And there is your new breed champion. Our, our boss. The 
also the uh, Universal Intergalactic Subterranean uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Champion. I think it's going to be 20 words long. He's now brought a oh, chair no. in. Oh, on, the match big is shot over. to the big shot to the midsection for the chair. But here comes Derek Teeter. Uh -oh. He's had enough of Curtis Wilde this evening. There is nothing neater than Derek Teeter, and he wants. He would like to have Curtis Wilde go one on one with the neat one. Curtis Wilde dangling that championship belt in front of Derek Teeter. The question is, does he have enough confidence to put that belt on the line against Derek Teeter? That's one match I would be excited to see. But I think we both know Curtis Wilde is not going to accept that challenge unless he's forced to. And right now, no one can make him do anything nope. he doesn't want to do. So Curtis Wilde continues uh, his reign as your new breed champion, defeating Drexel Bowie. It's a nice showing by Bowie. I got, I, I've got to give Bowie some credit for uh, the fight that he showed tonight. He's, uh, he's a star on the rise here in new breed. We're looking forward to seeing more out of him. But we're also looking more forward to seeing more out of Derek Teeter. Came to his rescue and cleaned house. But let's see what happens. Can only hope to see a matchup between Derek Teeter and Curtis Wilde. If it's possible, let's get that book for our next show here in Sedalia on June 26th. It was a wild night here tonight, Bob. It certainly was. But every night, as long as he's got controlling interest, will be a wild night in New Breed Wrestling as Curtis Wilde maintains his control, his, his grip on New Breed Wrestling as its champion and as the controlling partner. Very exciting stuff. Again, the next New Breed show will be June 12th at Max Creek. That's near uh, Lake the Ozarks. Uh, it's going to be a baseball and wrestling event. Uh, Co-promoted uh, New Breed and Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling. Uh, you're going to see Cowboy Bob Orton there. You're going to see Mr. USA Tony Atlas there, along with the whole roster of New Breed stars. You can find out more about that by going to the New Breed Wrestling Facebook page. Uh, more details on that event. And then be on the lookout. I don't like them mortars. I don't like them one bit.